Hey guys, Zeke Man here, and we are in the San De Cosme Market in the San Rafael neighborhood in downtown Mexico City. It's uh, I'm here with my good friend Jason Rupp, What's and, up, we're gonna, everybody? and we're going to show you this market. And here we are, we're gonna check it out, all the goods, we're gonna get some something to eat, and who knows, maybe even some more fresh juice. What do you think, Jason? I'm, I'm mm -hmm. looking for fresh carrot juice. We found it uh, like about two days ago for 24 pesos for a liter of carrot juice. Unbelievable, that's like and, a dollar. It's great for going mm -hmm. to the toilet. What's really yeah. cool is Absolutely. the food's outside, the other stuff's inside, it's just like foodie heaven, and there's yeah. no tourists around, mm -hmm. and there's no, uh, it, it's not a dangerous area or anything, so you got you, you don't have uh, the things like that to consider. Awesome, yeah. We're gonna check out the friendly people, and uh, we'll take you guys along with us. Yeah, let, let's let's take them to stroll through the, those these narrow aisleways of, of foodie heaven. All right, all right, come on. <laughs> I got stuck for a minute. I wasn't sure if we could cut through. So as you can see, the, we've got some really narrow market here, but you can these beautiful flowers all fresh Ooh, more avocado <laughs> not bad fresh yeah. carrots carrots Green tomatoes. Green tomatoes, I like those. Potato. Look at these tomatoes, they look so fresh. Some more potato. It says those are the small potatoes. Ah, chiquitas. Chiquita. <laughs> Oh, and then it's mango season now here. Um, you can see mangoes everywhere, and everyone's jumping on buying them because uh, they only come around every so often. So, this is a nice stack here of mangoes. I'm not really sure what these are, but they look really nice. <laughs> and these are uh, grapes, they're huge. Great mangoes. Very tight around here, but I mean, even if you wanted some candy, there's some candy. More fruta. I gotta tell you, um, from every place I've gone and I've checked things out, the fruit here is amazing in Mexico City. Um, yeah, it is papaya is totally incredible. Incredible papaya. I mean, everything. I, I had that papaya juice the other day, and it was so good. Yeah, this might be the place for you to try mole. Oh, I, I, I bet they might have some mole along here. I would love to have some mole. I've only, you know, uh, that was one thing that I was looking forward to trying. I've only had it a couple times so far. Isn't there some YouTuber friend that wanted, it, wanted you to eat some mole or something? <laughs> yeah, uh, Joel Bruner. He wanted me to get some mole. Pictures with mole. But that, that, he probably likes mole and it gives him energy for his bicycling, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mole bicycling. Mole bicycling. Hello, Joel. Hello, Joel. You get you some mole. You don't get 
don't be so good. Cool. Portobello mole. Oh, man. <laughs> Portobello mole. I love a good portobello. Portobellos are great. Amazing, amazing. Check right. out those big tubs of honey up there. Wow. Right up there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Holy. It all looks really fresh out here, you know? Yeah. But it's all cold. And so it, <laughs> if you want to eat here, then they'll take your plate and microwave it. They'll, they'll, they'll warm it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we want that. <laughs> I love the whole thing except the microwave. Hello. Hola. This is cool. It's like a. This cafe organico de chapa. Ah. Muy rico. Muy rico. Martial. Como? Café. Café. Café organico. Organic chiapas. Chiapas. Muy rico. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Que expreso americano, latte o cappuccino. ¿Tú expreso? Where's your espresso machine? Oh, we got a classic espresso. Espresso machine here, right? Oh, okay. Desde grano. Okay. Muy bueno. Espresso, ¿cuánto? 30 pesos. Is it double? Is it double? Is it double? Is it double shot? Espresso. Three. 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 Is it a single or a double? Yeah, I know. I know how much. Espresso. Una or espresso dos? Carga. Fuerte. Fuerte. Dos pies. How many shots? Americano. It's an espresso. Oh. Todo. Porto. Porto, largo. Fuerte. Amer Americano, ¿cuánto? ¿Cuánto Americano también, 30. 30. Oh, 30, 30 todo. I think you're getting Americano. Yeah, I'm an Americano. Well, you, want you, you want it? You want it? Oh, yeah. Or you just share mine? You want, you want okay, share yeah, mine? sure. Okay, un Americano, por favor. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sí, hombre, fuerte. <laughs> Your hair is fuerte. Sin azúcar. Your hair is fuerte, fuerte. Bonita. Sucre? No, no sugar, please. Por favor, no. ¿De qué país son? ¿De dónde son? ¿Dónde? Estados Unidos. De, de donde eres? Yo? México. 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 México lindo y querido. Viva CDMX. Nice. I was trying to find out if the espresso was a single or a double. But yeah. Tell me. Yeah. It's so easy. Just order the Americano. <laughs> Americano. I can't go wrong. No, no, no. Colita de rata. Yes. That's a nice big machine. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful dress. I think you can have good security here at the bar. You don't want to lose that machine. It looks like it makes like many waffles. Waffle. Waffle. Oh, Sit down. Gracias. Sienten. 
You can see here we are, Mercado Cafeteria. 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 Oh, he speaks English? A little bit? Oh, good. Yeah. I'm from New York. New York? Yeah, where are you from? Uh, Vacation. Yeah, vacations. Yeah, vacations. Enjoy and eat. That's a big espresso right wow. there. Wow. What's up? Actually, his espresso is pretty big. So oh, he's, he's it's gonna, like a double or a triple. It's actually. a double, and he's gonna make. But with his fingers, he, he made it look like it was gonna be a single, you know? Yeah. But when he shows this right now, it's like a, it's like a triple, like yeah. that. Yeah. He's gonna blend it with the Americana. Nice. Well, he didn't put that much water. I told him fuerte. Hello, the frutas. Gracias. Frutas. The best coffee in Mexico. This is the best. The best yeah. coffee in Mexico. I think you said it might have a fruit taste. Nice. But I'm just a funny gringo. I don't know what I'm... I imagine what I'm, what I'm here. Hmm. The best coffee in Mexico, right here. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have our Americano coffee with espresso mix. Um, I can smell the aroma all the way across the table. It smells amazing, and um, we're gonna try it out. Mm. Ah, very, very good. Very good roast. Very good roast. Let me taste it. It looks like Delicious. it's really hot though, kind of burning. You didn't burn your mouth? No, I didn't. Mm, it smells nice. It does. It smells like Chiapas. It's not. It's not overly bitter. For, you know, for my taste either. It's good. Frutas, huh? Is that frutas? The frutas? Frutas? No. No. No fruit in here. <laughs> Gringos and matching things. Oh, let's, let's see the beans. Organico. Organico. Yeah, that's what we want. Those are more expensive. Organic here. Well, you know? It's not cheap. I'm gonna try this uh, steaming hot coffee. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Oh man, that is fantastic. Oh, that's delicious. Rico, Ooh, boy Rico. Wow. Mm, oh, that is nice. So fresh. Fresh. So fresh. Una más, por favor. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Puedo hablar en español? This is good. It's very good coffee. Hablo en español? Oh, hablo poquito, sí. Oh, hablo español, sí, sí. San Caferiano. Glorioso grano. Que aromatizas y deleitas mi paladar. Tranquilizas mi estado de ánimo y fortaleces mi creatividad. Te venero porque desde tus entrañas y un buen y honesto tueste me haces el día mejor. Por lo que a vos acudo cuando me siento cansado o hasta deprimido. Y ante una, una taza de buen café, me puesto a implorarte, me quites de todo mal. Amén. 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 Es un, la oración a San Caferiano. Es un santito que se va... Es un, 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 este, una, este, una semillita que se va al cielo. Un cafecito. My name is Rafael Castro. Okay. So here's the information. Que venga.
So that was pretty awesome. The coffee was amazing. He was such a nice man. Totally accepting of us just hanging out and the coffee was just absolutely beautiful. That coffee kicked Starbucks ass. It really did. <laughs> Starbucks. Check it out. This is like a passion fruit. Oh. Those are one of my foods. I wonder what these are. Is it passion fruit? Um, they're similar to a passion fruit, but it has a different name. But it's Tastes like passion fruit to me. Nice apples, pears. These look like, I'm not really sure. Some plums. Ooh. Oh, this is the Milanese. Well, they won't be using a microwave here. Pork ribs. Oh. Pork ribs, look at that. Pork ribs. 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 Pork <laughs> Mole manana. You can buy Lucy's right here. Oh, this is one thing. Uh, everywhere in Mexico, Mexico City, you can buy cigarettes uh, by the by the piece. <laughs> Cigarro. But, and as you can see, I mean, all of these markets just have amazing fresh fruit. Look at these peaches. Great, really fresh peaches. Cactus. Garbanzo beans. Dan, he says his apple cream salad is especially delicious. It's 35 pesos. 35 wow. pesos. Wow. And this is 25 pesos, and here's a flan. Oh, for 20 pesos. Ah. So this is the dessert shop, but they also make smoothies. Nice. I'm from New York City, so I'm a rice pudding freak. Yeah, I know. That's what this looks like, right? That's rice, yeah, that's rice, rice pudding rice right pudding. there. Muy rico. Muy rico. Muy rico. Muy rico. Sabroso. That's extra delicious. <laughs> Oh. Oh, so, so in this one it's it's jello at the bottom but the, at the top is burnt milk. Burnt milk. Like you cook with charcoal. Awesome. Amazing. You want anything? I mean I'll always try anything. <laughs> I'll always try something. I think a rice pudding probably would be for those of you that know me, I do have a sweet tooth. So like when I look at when I look at this counter, I'm just like, oh boy, this looks amazing. That's the YouTuber. Should we just share a rice pudding? Yeah, let's get one of these rice puddings. Una arroz, por favor. Gracias. Let's try this rice pudding. So you can see the rice, got a little raisin. That's pretty classic actually in rice pudding. And I believe that would either be cinnamon or nutmeg on the top. So all of these flavors combined with the uh, tapioca inside the rice pudding should be amazing. Let's try it out. Mm. This is great. It tastes like the classic. It's like you would get in the uh, diner at night with your uh, pork in, in New Jersey. It's really awesome. 
and um, it's full of rice too. It's not mo it's not mostly pudding. Mm. Is it too sweet or anything? It's not sweet. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It tastes great. It's like perfectly balanced all the way through. It's excellent. Jason, you may not get any. <laughs> Give me some now. I'm taking it. Mexico City, YouTube. Don't think New York. Nueva York. Sí. Nueva York. Y esa le mandas ahorita para allá. Sí. Gracias. Sí. Este le mandas hasta allá. Este. La foto le mandas hasta allá. I don't know. I'm sorry. Lo siento. No comprendo. Sí, sí, sí. All right, so I like the rice pudding part. I don't like the raisins because it, it tastes old and, and uh, hard. I don't like the raisins. That's, that's just me. That's just me. I, actually, I like the raisin in it. So since you don't like it and I like it. You take those raisins in, please. I'll take the raisin. <laughs> the pudding itself, though, I'm a big fan of. Mm. It tastes really fresh. Just like him and his wife would have made it just, just this morning. Oh, yeah. Nice and creamy. It's very creamy. And the rice is cooked to a perfect uh, uh, consistency. Yeah. Not too hard, not too soft. Rice done really well. Mm, real creamy and not too sweet. Yeah. That's how I'd want it um, if I was getting it in New York City. That's exactly how I'd want it. This is a New York rice pudding it's for New me. York rice pudding. And this would go awesome. It's, it's really a Mexico City rice pudding, <laughs> but you know, for us, yeah. we can think of it as a New York rice pudding. Yeah, it kind of brings us back home a little bit. This would go awesome with the coffee from our friend over there also. Yeah, oh, and some mezcal, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. It's tasty. Yeah. I'm glad we got this. So the cost of this is 25 pesos, which is right at a dollar and a quarter. I, I, I probably would pay four or five dollars, right, right around four to five dollars in New York for this. Oh sure, easily, definitely, no doubt. A rice pudding like this in a diner costs like four fifty now, and you gotta pay tax and tip on that. Mm -hmm. now. The consistency is perfect though. It's awesome. It's great. Yeah. Mexico City rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Another tasty treat. Little rice pudding action. Probably would have never really expected Here's rice the pudding. that we like so much. Oh. The, 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 Guys. The black fungus, black mushrooms of Mexico City. It, it's the, it, it's really like the, like the truffles of Mexico, yeah. but, but, but cheap. This is, this is something that Jason introduced me to here, and it really is amazing. Um, wheat lacoche, it's the fungus inside of a, cor inside a corn, but it is. Phenomenal. So when the fungus takes over uh, uh, the corns, it just takes over the whole thing. So so it's it, it's no longer you can no longer use that as actual uh, corn anymore. Right. That the, the whole thing turns into wheat lacoche, yeah. all fungus thing, and that's what they want, really. Uh, that's a good job. Beautiful. Over there, there's uh, cactus and cream. And over here's mushrooms. There's potatoes, and then they're gonna deep fry a taco for you. Excellent. <laughs> I think they're laughing at us. This the taco dorado, see? Taquito Dorado. Taquito Dorado. Taco Dorado? Quesadilla. Huh? Quesadilla. Okay. Quesadilla. Okay. Quesadilla. Okay. Quesadilla. Okay. Quesadilla. Okay. Quesadilla. Okay. She's making, so, uh, she's making all the tortillas fresh. Yes. Basically a new one like every 10 seconds, really. 
That's what it seems. <laughs> boom, 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 done. And then drop it in the oil. See? Done. <laughs> Look how perfect we round it. That might be mine. That's what I ordered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah perfect, perfect shape. We eat my corte. Gracias. That's mine. I, I just got the confirmation. There it is. <laughs> You getting one? Sure. I'm gonna, I got I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the same thing. Cause I, I love that. Yeah, but I, got, I, I could recommend this other one. What other Cactus one? and cream. Cactus and cream? That's, that's, uh, that one right there. Cactus and cream. Look at it, we can share. This one right there. Okay. Well, uh, get it. Okay. <laughs> No problem. No problem, first of all. No problem. Rajas. Oh, that's the rajas, huh? Rajas de chile poblano. Okay, that's that's not actually not cactus. That's that's big chilies, big green oh. chilies. The cream. Silly gringo. You don't know anything. <laughs> you don't come from here. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. Slowly, of course. Una, por favor. Sí. same size every single time. She's probably perfected how much it feels in her hands to make it the perfect size every single time. I wonder how many she's made in her life. She's definitely an expert, that's for sure. I got my uh, Rudla Coche here. It looks like the way they're able to know what's inside is they kind of break it a little bit. Oh, yeah, Otherwise, that's... how would they know which is which, right? Sure, yeah. So, so I like how they just broke it up. It's fine. And then that gives me a way to put some salsa in there. Yeah, absolutely. That totally works out. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. they, they, they laugh at it. They're laughing at us, gringos. <laughs> The <laughs> San Cosme, that's where we are the market. Platas, tostadas, pambazo. So we got some quesadilla here. Um, Jason got the wheel of coche. And what was this one? I don't remember what we ordered over here. Yeah, ro Rojas. Rojas. Yeah. It, it's like green chilies and cream. Green chilies and cream. Poblano. All right. And then we got, of course, our salsas. Yep. And we'll see what we got. I'm going to bite into this. Mine's been cooling down since I got mine first. It's still hot though? Yeah. It's still hot. <laughs> oh, whoa. 
That's how it goes here in Mexico. Yeah. You drop it down, but then at the end, you just end up using your hands and just picking it up and eating it. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Well, that's really good. Look at that. That's, that's fungus from a corn right in there. It's delicious. Yeah. And you can see, like, some of the corn kernels, like, right, ooh, sorry, <laughs> right there uh, into it. Because <laughs> I stick my finger in Jason's food. Tasty. Oh, it's very delicious, yeah. All the mixture of flavors, the fresh fried tortilla in there. Mm. This is not in the país. It's a boost. Where is it? It's only New York. Ah, only yours? Thank you. It's a boost. Igualmente. So we're going to put some. Mm. No, 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 We've got quesadilla with rajas and cream. It's crispy, it's light. Take, take a bite. Mmm. Wow. This is amazing. It tastes like if you had a chili releno um, with that stuff. That's exactly what this is like, but it's in a nice crispy tortilla. And all the flavors are just melt. They melt because of the frying. But you get pepper, you get cheese, you get the green salsa. This is that salty cheese that's amazing. I love this. This tastes so good. Mmm. Mm. Is it spicy? Not so spicy. It just has full pepper flavor because the peppers are so fresh. So good, excellent, excellent. And, wow, I'm really actually being blown away by this. That's how good it is. Nice. Yeah, this is amazing. So good. Mm. Wow, looks like these quesadillas are 10 pesos to 13 pesos. So right about 50 cents to 60, 60 cents, cents each. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sabroso. Jason, you have to get this. Oh, I'm gonna get one. This is phenomenal. Rajas, una más, por favor. Gracias. One more. Okay. Uh, una más, uh, rajas, una más, huit la coche. Huit la coche with the cheese. Queso. Queso. Queso, the do dos con queso. Gracias. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Press the button. Press the button. Oh, let me see. Está grabando. Roja. Yeah, it's on. Está. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Okay, Senor is helping to video. Yeah, we have our Gracias Senor. Gracias Senor. We got our little. Provecho. Right? Yeah, mucho. <laughs> Provecho I... means like enjoy your food, ha have a good meal. Yeah. Gracias. 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 I got the wheel of coche this time and uh, it's dressed up very nicely. And let's take a bite. Provecho. I think he's so just good. Food, he just food orgasm. No. I just saw that. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pesquisito. Pesquisito. He just food orgasm all over this restaurant. Thank you. This is awesome. The uh, wheat la coche has just got amazing flavor. 
Mm. Muy bien. I'm gonna try the green chilies. Right. Right. Con cream, crema. Mm. That is quite amazing. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a pizza. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. I, did, I just, I just spilled it all. Uh, one thing that I like a lot about this uh, quesadilla is the, the crust itself. It's not thick. It's like really light and it's easy to eat. It's really great to bite. Kind of like a really fresh hot pocket. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Or tortilla, tortino, tor, tortellini, tortellini uh, pizza roll. Remember those? Oh yeah. It's kind of like those except this is fresh. This isn't microwaved. It's not baked. Yeah. It's, it's not frozen, no nothing. This is fresh, made right in front of your eyes. The tortilla was, was, was flattened right in front of us. Yep. Alright. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. Si, YouTuber, mucho grande. Mm. Grande, grande. Good too. Mm -hmm. Grande, grande. <laughs> grande YouTuber. <laughs> so funny. Está muy grande su estómago. He calls you a grande YouTuber. <laughs> Okay, back to Senor. <laughs> yeah. Senor likes to be in this YouTube video. Mm. Thank you, Senor, for videoing. Yeah. Video. Gracias. Bueno. Trabajo bueno. No, bueno trabajo, see? Mm. Senor Guapo. Oh, Guapo. <laughs> I told him he's very handsome. Yes. We like that. Check it out. They're sauteing up a, a, a big cactus, see? Ah, oh, nice. Oh, okay. Okay. No customer for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is he shoot us away, but we might have been, we, 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 we were, we're customers. I actually was thinking about getting cactus. Yeah, we were pay. So as you can see, the market transitions from food into accessories. And some more food over here. Tacos. And we're out of the market. <laughs> We're out of the market. And at the end, look what we find. A polkaria. Polkaria. Should we finish this video with a polke glass? Yes, let's do it. So polke is a um, fermented, it's a fermented drink from a cactus, like the, the inside of a cactus. And it's pretty low in alcohol. It says it can go up to about 6%, but seem, they seem pretty in lo low in alcohol. Yeah, it's definitely 6% or lower, right? Yeah. But it's delicious. Really good. It's usually delicious. Usually. <laughs> you never know because yeah. there, there's no standard to it. But I haven't had a bad polke yet. So now we're out in the street. Polkaria, baby. And right we here. are. Polkaria. Es muy rico? Okay, gracias. Mm. With all kinds <laughs> of different flavors. Got oats, co uh, coconut, Cocoa. pineapple, pina colada with the coconut and pineapple, pineapple and chili, Ooh. mango, guayaba, which is guava. Right. This is, fresa is strawberries. Strawberry. Apio, I don't know. Nuez is nuts. Cacahuate peanut. 
Jito Mati, I don't know, tamarind. Tamarind con chile. Oh, oh with chili and a pinon. I, I believe that's uh, mint and limes. Nice. But I, but I can't be sure. But they also have beers, micheladas, that's, that's beer cocktails. Let's just get up there. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going into the Pulcaria. What we got? We got good seats out here. Oh, yeah. I got my peanut pulque right here. Looks like I got cinnamon on top. I'm excited because I've been looking for peanut pulque and I finally got it. I've tried every other flavor, but this is what I wanted. Mmm. I got, it tastes that sourness, like a kind of like a lassi, yeah. except there's no milk in here. Right. Mm. And then it's funky. It's funky. Over here, I got pina colada, nice poke. Mm. It is pina colada, pineapple, pineapple, coconut, delicious, and it's all vegan. It's all vegan. It's all vegan. It's so so good. Each of these cups are less than two US dollars. Mm -hmm. It's all fresh and special homebrew from Mexico City. That's homebrew right there. It is. It's absolutely homebrew. But I want to thank you guys for coming on this market hunt with us. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys soon. Jason, thanks for coming along. My pleasure. Make sure that you check out Jason Rupp. Put the link in the dis description below. Oh, thank you. He actually has three channels. I'll put all of those in there um, so you guys can check it out. He's got a main channel and two other uh, ancillary channels for other footage. But uh, they're awesome. It's awesome content, and you guys will not be disappointed. Cheers. Okay, cheers.